Hey guys, welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how you can completely for free in under two minutes take a look at Google search AI overview traffic for your website. Now a lot of you might remember Two Men. This is a website that I made quite a long time ago, about two to three years ago. And I did notice that according to Ahrefs, we were getting AI overview traffic. And I wanted a way to verify this. So all I did was I just went on ChatGPT and I said, create me a regex for queries more than nine words long for Search Console. And all it did was give me this regex right here. Now, just a quick mention, guys, I am going to be putting this into SEO Grove as well. So it's basically going to be able to show you your AI overviews because I think it's a pretty interesting feature and I think a lot of people would want it. If you want to try SEO Grove, there'll be a link in the description. Now, if I just go to 12 months, because I think this demonstrates this the, in the best way, right? So previously, there like nobody searched more than nine or eight words, right? This was even up until recently, I would say, right? You could change this to eight if you wanted to, but it might be less reliable. So let's put this on eight. Okay, now this is pretty reliable too. The way that you can tell is that there's obviously a huge spike around kind of when AI overviews started to really come in, which was very recently, if you think about it. If you put this on 16 months, I doubt that there'll be any impressions um, down here. So you can see here, there's barely any impressions right here. So 19 impressions to 425 impressions. So the way that you can actually see is you scroll down here and I'm actually going to put this on nine because I think it demonstrates it in a slightly better way. And I think some of these are pretty interesting, actually, to be honest with you. So we'll put this on impressions. So how to tell if a Hugo Boss jacket is real. But then if you scroll further down, like some of these are really interesting. I am part of Generation X. What is the most luxurious jacket brand? I just find it surprising that 145 people search that in exactly the same way, right? But yeah, I think this is pretty cool. I think this is pretty interesting. You can see there's a lot of, um, should only expensive brands make quality products? Since only expensive brands make quality products, which designer clothes should I buy, right? The fact that we're appearing for that is really, really cool to know and really, really interesting as a business. And you can see I'm a millennial. What is the most luxurious jacket brand? So it's kind of showing how people search for things in a slightly different way as well, which I do think is very, very cool. Can you help me find some timeless men's knit sweaters that can be dressed up or down? I just find it weird that 56 people search that in exactly the same way. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this is really weird data that I'm seeing, but I just, I don't know how to, yeah, I just think this is an interesting um, concept. So you could actually double down on this and you could also do ChatGPT searches of the same things and see if you also appear on ChatGPT, right? So let's actually just do that as a test because I suspect this is how Ahrefs are doing their um, their thing, right? Their, their version of this. So let's just say that. So then you could also put them the searches on there and you could see whether your website is also on ChatGPT, right? So in this case, it's not on ChatGPT, or two men hasn't appeared here, it doesn't look like. And then obviously we could also do the same thing with perplexity. And I guess this is how a lot of these tools are actually getting their results, like Ahrefs, etc. This is probably how I would build it. And then maybe like do searches in kind of the same space using similar keywords and seeing what you appear for, et cetera, et cetera. So actually just on that note, there was a pretty interesting update from Perplexity, which I saw. They just released a new API, which is actually the, here, we, here it is, introducing the Perplexity Search API. This is something I've been saying that they should do for a year and a half. I haven't actually used Perplexity API because this just wasn't a thing until recently. What it used to be was like open routers AI, but with bad models. Now it gives you the same power of Perplexity inside the API. So again, this is probably how I would build what we're talking about, um, like a system to show people their uh, AI overviews, where they appear in AI, which AIs they appear in, et cetera, et cetera. So you can pull this data from Search Console, and then you can use that to generate various searches that you think people would do or AI thinks people would do. And then you search them on perplexity, you search them on ChatGPT, you search all those queries and you give like a bank of information for things that they are appearing for. 
So it looks like Perplexity has also released an SDK, um, which is pretty cool. Deep dive by Perplexity Research. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I would say the Perplexity API has been massively upgraded. I will test it out in a, in a video that I make soon. I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.